Now this is just to play around. Let's see a more uh, useful example, something that you can really use. You let's say you have Google Sheets. We have a document here. And we go here and extend it to both screens. Now, see how much real estate you have to play with. Now, I have uh, a sheet that compares my current phone, the Note 8, and some of the uh, competitor that interested me that actually had the uh, uh, dual screens. And see how much information you can see on all. Uh, so, if you don't have this in your hand you don't really notice it but when you have this real estate in your hand it's really quite striking uh, another example would be i have the software for my sphere camera and let's play a short demo hey and you can see so much more than you would be able to normally so one thing that people complain about is hey I'm not going to use the second screen and so on and I have to say I have only uh, removed the second screen in special occasions like when I needed to um, swap my SIM card and my SD card uh, with the other phone the rest I always kept it like this it doesn't bother me it's I find it real really useful uh, another thing you can do is for example you have something like Titan Quest which is a game I really enjoyed on on my uh, PC and this gave me uh, a solution to actually enjoy it on my phone as well Yeah, you just saw another example of a feature that's a little bit hidden. So you can triple tap the screen to actually zoom. Now, once you open the uh, game, you switch it to the other screen. And from here, from the left, you have the LG gamepad. And now if we just play Titan Quest, start. As you can see, uh, you have controls. These are, this is a customized controller. So uh, the way I did it is if you hit this customize button for each of the controls here, you have a target on your main screen. And once you do that, once you have everything set up, you can even, for example, these are for the main. I hit resume game and now you can just play with it like you, you would uh, play on your Xbox or I don't know. Yes, yeah, I don't get to attack anything. Yeah, here you go. Bang. Yeah, so I'm not gonna play anymore, but you, you, you get the gist, you understand what you can do. Now, um, besides this, this control interface, you have a lot of other controls. So, these are some of the built-in ones. You have the console style, you have racing style, arcade, basic style, and this is uh, some of the custom controllers I set up for Stigma Legends, a Titan Quest and so on and you, you can add as many as you, you would need. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I need to pick it to get out of it. Close. Okay. What else? Oh yeah. If you open up the camera Let's say you take a photo. First of all, it optimizes for the situation you're in. So it sees if you're uh, 
uh, taking a photo of your of a baby or a cat or low light and so on and when you go and preview you actually have the preview here so if you do another one it will switch the new one here see another one so it shows you a preview on the second screen which is really nice because let's say you're taking a long round of pictures and you want to always be in the camera and actually snap it quick and you can do that uh, a really nice thing about this camera is that you can do things like going from normal zoom to wide mode and if you notice the corners they go extra wide so you get even more information on your screen now yeah the the image will uh, will go to a bubble like appearance but being able to get so much on your screen is so nice and you can even zoom in but the zoom quality is not super nice now another thing i use for this phone is button mapper i remapped this google uh, button immediately because of the, whenever I need a uh, Google I, I just call for it I hey Google and so on eh, it <laughs> hey Google <laughs> uh, Google heard me uh, so Google listening uh, yeah and the nice thing about this is I set I set my volume buttons for example if I'm listening to music instead of the volume I switch through um, songs back and forth and this is play pause and this is a, a, a lot of nice customization that allows you to circumvent that you don't have any functionality here so you only get information but for example if yeah <laughs> it took me to Google Maps yeah Google Maps is another, is another good example where you can use this, this whole screen real estate so if i go here and press and lock down it should take me this is always on display and allows you it, it takes you to some shortcuts you can go to camera you can again uh, turn on and off the light and you can so what impressed me this time so i had an lg v10 in the past and what impressed me this time is that lg actually put some effort into devising the software so the second screen is not use useless because uh, they could do something like hey you have a second screen you only need it when you call it specifically but instead what they did that is they made it work together with this with the first screen so you take a photo you see it on the second screen and you have you go to the gallery and you have the big preview on on the second screen and the, the whole gallery on the right and all throughout the software there are a lot of things that work like this and they they really work nicely and yeah my 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 two cents on this would be that i really love the lg's idea it's <laughs> half the price of, uh, of a more expensive samsung device with a folding phone uh, which is not worth it at all it's much stronger they really put an effort on on the software so that's that's something i enjoy but 